Hi everyone, so today I want to introduce you to the EVH Wolfgang Special Edition uh, guitar. It's uh, the ice blue metallic version that I've got here, uh, kindly lent to me by Guitar Works, so if you're in Canada go check that out, uh, and you can order all sorts of stuff from there, uh, free delivery, etc. This is a made in Mexico version, so I did some digging into the EVH brand itself and been around for a while. Obviously Eddie Van Halen, you know, he's the kind of guy that uh, is synonymous with guitar excellence and tweaking and changing. Big fan of his. But I know that for a long time Fender have actually uh, owned the factories and been involved with the design and manufacturing of these guitars. So let's go through some of the specs and then I'll go into some of the sounds um, through the pickup selections combinations and a few different sounds in the amp and then we'll go through and uh, just you know do a final verdict of the thing. So it's bass wood body with a slight arch to the top. You can kind of see there's a slight kind of groove to the top edges, obviously very visible there. A sturdy kind of graphite reinforced bolt on quarter sawn maple neck, which is nice um, and hand rubbed satin urethane finish on the back, which is, uh, you know, not too uh, overbearing on the hands. It's smooth and lets you slide up and down no problem. The uh, radius of the fingerboard, which is an, a nice ebony one, which I know is becoming increasingly common and popular for these kind of uh, quicker, faster players, shredders, or whatever the term is now. Uh, it's got a 12 to 16 inch compound radi radius, and uh, it's flat as you move up towards the heel of the neck and smaller and kind of more rounded and definitely fits easily in the hands when you get up to, to the to the nut. Um, the ebony has a nice tight grain so you get really uh, good articulation up the neck and it's very fast to play. Uh, 22 frets as you can kind of see, jumbo frets and uh, the perloid dot inlays, so nothing too special and fancy but who cares about the fancy stuff anyway. Um, we've got a nice little, I haven't used it, but the spoke wheel truss rod. Looked at a few reviews online and we could see that they were definitely saying this was a great little uh, advantage to when you want to tweak things. Uh, we've got a pair of uh, EVH uh, Wolfgang and Alnico 2 humbucking pickups. Uh, these magnets are especially renowned for creating a very hot pickup. Uh, lots of harmonics, strong highs and very kind of uh, earthy, girthy mids kind of punching through. Three-way switch, got the bridge, both pickups, and the neck pickup, which is nice, classic combination, nothing too fancy going on here. And then we've got the uh, Eddie Van Halen uh, branded locking Floyd Rose uh, Trem, which uh, some people, you know, love, hate kind of thing. I love them. Uh, they have the nut, locking nut to go with them. Could be a bit finicky with the tuning sometimes, but once you've got them set up and dialed in and locked in, it's uh, a nice thing to have, nice and smooth, always returns back to where it should do. We've got the unique, uh, you know, D-tuner, I think he calls it, um, what Eddie Van Halen did, where you can actually go from standard tuning to drop D and back in relatively, well, very quickly, actually. We've got the Eddie Van Halen uh, branded Gota tuners, which are very solid, strong, and very reliable. Uh, ships with uh, gauge nine strings, which are a little bit light for me. I don't know where that came from. Maybe Eddie used to play with them, I'm not sure. Um, but Definitely uh, easy, very easy to play. Simple on the volume and tone front. We've got just a single volume, which is very fluid and easy to move. And then the tone one has a lot more resistance there. So I think the idea is that volume can kind of do nice swells and stuff if you need to. Um, but when you actually get to the tone, you kind of want to set it and make sure it's not going to wiggle around while you're jumping around on stage, etc. Um, this is the Ice Blue Metallic, as I said at the start, there are actually six colours which are crazy, you know, and cool and really interesting. We've got some like immense purple colours, uh, some white, some blues, so loads to go around there. Um, different binding options as well go with that, and we've got the headstock that kind of actually matches the colour of the guitar as well, which is a quite neat finish because I think, you know, a lot of guitars kind of just go with a bare wood finish here, or a black or something dull, but it's nice that it's kind of continued through. I do like the finish here, it's a nice metallic kind of look to it. Um, kind of reminds me of that Pelham Blue colour that you get in the Gibson range, uh, which is nice. And then we've got optional hard shell case or a gig bag. So enough of me talking, let's go through a few sounds. So we'll start with the clean sound on the neck pickup. <laughs> It's 
nice and jangly and chimey. And we'll go to the uh, both pickups here, a bit more twang going on. twang punch bringing out both the pickups nicely there Let's look onto the bridge pickup here a bit more drive probably <laughs> Some punchy, clear, beautiful articulation in all of that kind of pickup range and the clean sound. So crunch down, we're going to sit on the uh, the neck pickup here. smooth uh, but also with a nice kind of twangy top end as well so we've got to both pickups here on the crunch sound <laughs> kind of brings out the chime in the top end of those bridge pickups which is nice so, uh, onto the bridge pickup which is always going to sound a bit uh, you know more edgy and thinner <laughs> So we'll just flick down to the drop D and you'll see what that sounds like. So that's all I did, just pull that out, essentially, that little lever there, quite simply in and out. So we're out here. Pretty much perfect, ready to go. So the high gain setting now, so we'll just switch over to the neck pickup just again.
more of an earthy kind of tone. Switch over to the neck and the bridge pickup. <laughs> Bridge where it can open things right the way up. So I honestly I played this guitar for a little bit now and I I don't have a bad word to say about it. I, I really think for this kind of price range, you know, kind of like that a thousand dollars US dollars or fourteen hundred Canadian, really solid. Like the neck's really solid. It's got that kind of satin neck that the new fenders are going with, um, kind of around that same price range as well of those kind of American two series. I find this is just a much more solid neck as well. Like. <laughs> Like I can honestly abuse it and pull it and twist it and ducking down and all sorts of stuff going on here. And I just, I love this little detuner thing. I think it's like a revelation really. You can really just in and out straight away. Like I think it's really nice feel, good intonation, um, great sounds, uh, array of sounds as well. So you've got the neck pickup uh, position and they're both the same pickup, but just they're nicely balanced where they actually end up being, um, you know, complement each other. You can play the heavy, crazy metal stuff. You can play more of the like jazz, bluesy stuff. It's a very nice uh, instrument. I was uh, pleasantly surprised by it. I thought the hardware's all really high quality stuff. Um, the neck's beautiful. The finishing is nice. And you can really see that it's been designed by a player because it works and it's really well thought through. Even just this kind of like stiffer tone knob compared to the volume knob, we can do kind of more like swell type stuff. So those volume and tone knobs are nice, like they've got the volume to, which is a 500k and the tone which is a 250k and they've got a nice little uh, sync, uh, high frequency kind of bleed, treble bleed on the uh, volume which just takes the edge off a bit which is nice. Yeah, really really nice guitar, really solid, feels quite heavy to hold which is which is quite nice actually, it's made of bass wood so you you kind of expect it to be a little bit lighter I guess but it's, it's nice, it's really solid, it reminds me of like a... Um, you know, not as heavy as the Les Paul, but kind of at least getting that weight that you get from the Les Paul. It's not as heavy because Les Pauls are too heavy, I think. Um, but this is just kind of a nice middle middle ground. And it's kind of, you know, that signature headstock that you get. So great guitar, fantastic guitar. If you're in the market for it, go check it out and have a play of it because I think you'd really enjoy it. I think for the money, it's uh, really, really well constructed, good value. So yeah, I don't think there's any real critique of it at all. I think it's really, really nice. Perfect. Well, thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, I will see you next time in the next gear review or video. Hopefully, you will subscribe if you're not already. Uh, hit the like, that would be appreciated, and uh, drop a comment in the section below, and uh, we can have a chat about what you thought. Uh, if you've got one, just let me know if you've got one and uh, how you're feeling around uh, your purchase. So, thanks, everyone, and I'll see you next time.